Paano mo malalaman kung gaano kabigat yung isang idim? Or yung double beams? Compute natin ngayon kung gaano kabigat yung isang piraso ng double beam. Nakot siyang double beam kasi ganito yan. Kaya double beam siya. Ito yung pinaka plunge niya. Ito yung pinaka plunge niya. And then, ito ay wide. Pero yung isa, maliit lang yung plunge niya. Kaya ito yung tinatawag na high beam. Ito yung wide plunge. So, mag-stick tayo dito sa wide plunge. Gaano ba kabigat yung isang piraso ng wide plunge? Pero bago yan, ano ba yung uh, section o yung size ng isang W beam na bika i-explain natin. So, suppose meron tayong isang W beam na twelve by thirty six. Kano ka bigat yung W beam twelve by thirty six with six meters length. Alam natin yung 6 meters length is equals to 20 feet. Now, yung 12 na numerical value na nakasulat dito, ito yung height ng pinaka beam natin. So, yung height nito, this is equals 12 inches. Ito, ang 12 inches natin na ito, which is yung height ng W beam hindi naman yun yung magiging uh, width ng white plants depende sa thickness or sa weight na given dito sa uh, section natin na to now, yung 36 natin na to will represent as pounds per feet per foot kaya ang hahanapin natin dito is that yung 36 pounds per feet kung kung magkano kung ilang kilograms yung aabot nito kasi alam natin that 1 kilogram cost 60 pesos so ibig sabihin kailangan natin makuha yung weight ng W12 by 36 para malaman natin yung isang buong piraso which is 6 meters length or 20 feet length. Now, umpisa na natin yung paghanap nito. Yung 12 inches uh, natin na ito, uh, nag-indicate lang kung gaano kalaki yung base plate na gagamitin natin dito. At saka kung ilan yung papasok na anchor bolts dito sa W beam natin. Imagine kung this is a column. Pero kung poste. So, wala na tayong anchor bolt and base plate. Now, i-continue natin punit yung weight ng W12 by 36. Now, kung consider natin yung 36 dahil yun yung weight, 36 pounds per foot. Now, una natin i-consider yung pounds. So, gawin natin yung red. So, para i-convert yung pounds, yun. ganito lang kino-convert yan. Kung pounds yung nasa ibabaw, para makancel yan, kailangan pounds yung nasa ibaba pag kino-convert natin yung pounds into meter, kilogram. So, this one is in terms of kilogram. Pagka yung kilogram, meron tayong 1 kilogram, ilang pounds yung meron yung 1 kilogram. So, approximately, meron siyang around 2.2046 pounds. So, okay na tayo. Pag minultiply na natin to sa 1 and then divide this uh, by 2.2046, makukuha na natin yung matitira is kilogram per foot. E kailangan natin i-convert ito sa meter. Pwede rin hindi dahil uh, mumultiply lang natin sa 20. Pero gawin natin in terms of meter. 
So, let's multiply this by Para makancel yung food, kailangan natin nasa ibabaw yung food. Nasa ilalim yung meter. So, para yung matitira is kilogram per meter kasi makakancel na yung food sa yung food doon. So, for every 1 meter, there is 3.28 feet. So, ang matitira natin unit is kilogram per meter. Now, let's multiply 36 times 1 times 3.28 all over 2.246 times 1. And it goes like this. 36 times 3.28 divided by 2.2. 2046 It is equals to 53.56 Pinatira is kilograms per meter So, dahil ito is only good for 1 meter that is kilogram per meter I multiply pa natin yan sa 6 dahil we have a commercial length of 6 meters. So multiply this by 6. We have 53.56 multiply by 6. And the total weight is equals to 321.36. kilograms so kasi this one is in terms of meter this one is kilogram per meter cancel yung meter matitira yung kilograms at 60 pesos per kilogram magkano yung magiging amount ng isang W12 by 36 W pin. It's 19,281.60 pesos. So, ito yung price ng W12 by 36 na mayroong weight na 321.36 kilograms yung isang 6 meter length.